Hey, what's up, Cheer Moons? Welcome back. My name is Sean, and I'm going to be reacting to one of us newest comeback that just dropped for Luna, aka Walhamien. Walhamien. Yes. <laughs> Making sure I got the pronunciation right. So, as usual, I am very excited because it is one of us, and I love their comebacks. So, let's get into this. Cinematography though. Oh, I really like his makeup. I love how they bring it back a traditional uh, concept too. Oh wow. <laughs> Very simple set, but I love it. <laughs> Just a few of them? He looks really good in that outfit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love how they keep on letting Do use his vocals more with every new song. This is such a different overall sound for them. It's definitely softer. Wow, <laughs> that was so abrupt. <laughs> Death break, love me a death break. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, you're going off, okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, just the registering fan courier. Okay. Love it. The style of like traditional Korean, just everything, like in the art, in the outfits, in the music, never fails to impress me. So, because I'm super, super early to this, we don't have captions yet, which sucks. But I definitely want to watch this again to absorb everything more. So, that's what we're gonna do. Hey. 
This feels like it's as soft as Twilight, but also the visuals do remind me of Lit. Because obviously Lit was a very like traditional mixed with modern concept too. It's weird, but it's cool. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure Ito's vocals are getting way better too. Especially with this falsetto. Classic breakfast on a rose. <laughs> God, that like switch though. Man, do I hope this part in instrumentals is in a studio version on Spotify, otherwise, I'm gonna be so annoyed. <laughs> it has to be, right? Please, I love it. I also love one last choreography. So we have these visuals that are a blend of like soft but also jarring. It really does look the best with either black hair or blonde hair. <laughs> Definitely. Actually, this MV hits different because I've been like watching a lot of uh, period piece dramas lately, like K dramas, especially The King's Affection. Loving that series. So, <laughs> my mindset has been very like you know traditional Korean lately as far as like the visuals. Ooh, okay, okay. I love that beautiful visuals. I love how. As to be expected in the instrumentals, they definitely blended some traditional sounds with, of course, you know, modern sounds. And yeah, I really loved everything about this. The visuals were beautiful, beautifully done. Everything was super well shot. I'm gonna quickly check out who directed. Okay, so there's no credits on the screen and there's no credits in the description box. So I'm not sure who directed this, but whoever did, good job. I really liked it. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so that's all I have to say about Luna, aka Walhamin. I have no idea what Walhamin actually means. It's probably something to do with Moon because, you know, Luna plus the name of the mini album is called Red Moon, so it's very obviously to do with Moon. And I think Wal is definitely Moon, so yeah, anyways, so very much enjoyed this. And I'm really looking forward to listening to the EP. And yeah. Alrighty guys, that was my reaction to One Us. Uh, World Hamian, aka Luna. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like button below. Comment below which is sort of the MV, which is sort of the song. And if there's anything else that you want to comment below, go right ahead.
And also, if you want to, I would love if you considered checking out my new Patreon that I literally just launched a couple of days ago. On there, I'll be doing uh, Japanese MV reactions to like any group, TXT's uh, Japanese version for Zero by One Love Song is very soon to come out and possibly by the time this is going up on YouTube it's already out. So that video is going to go onto my Patreon so if you would like to check out my reaction to that then consider checking out my Patreon. It's going to be going onto the first tier, the $5 tier called Rose Quartz tier. Aside from Japanese reactions, I'm going to be doing any videos that get blocked from YouTube directly will be going onto the Patreon and I'll be doing more listening parties. I'll be doing Q&A videos. Eventually in the long term run, I'll be doing like live streams and as well as uh, fun like K-pop challenge videos like if you can guess this video in a second or see how many songs you can get right. Those kind of K-pop challenge videos is also what I'll be doing. And if you want more info on like what each tier will have three tiers, then you can uh, check out uh, the Patreon which will be links down below and yeah if you want to check out my previous video it's link right here if you want to subscribe it's link right here don't forget to turn the notification bell on and send it to all that way you won't miss your upload from me and i'll see you guys in the next one Annyeong!